rest of the classwork together. So how about questions about your homework, the second page? Nine, 15, 19, 20. We'll start with 15. All right, so here there's no base, right? Do you see there's no base? What does that mean? It's 10. Good job, Aiden. So 10, the third, yes, the third, that's exactly right. All right, guys, let me reel you in. Um, you could have also put this one on your calculator and just hit log 1,000 and it'd give you that number who asked. Um, and then you said 19 and 20. So 19, Log base 7 of 35. There's nothing I can raise 7 to to get 35, so I'm going to take out my calculator, and I'm going to do log 35 divided by log 7, and I get approximately 1.83 if I round it to. And then somebody said 20. Log base 2 of 260, even if that is a power of 2, I don't know what it is. I don't know 2 to the what power gives me 260, so I'm going to use my calculator. Log 260 divided by log 2. Use that change of base. It is approximately 8.02. You can. It's not necessary. She's a good habit to be in. I promise it tastes better than it looks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anything else? To ease you into it. We'll start dipping our toes in the water on the front. And then um, the back of the first page is whenever we'll really just jump in all together. Then we'll pull it all together with the chart that's on there. Um, so you can get your homework done. All right, so we're talking about log properties now. Log properties. And there are but three. So remember, logs are what? What did what we say yesterday? Exponents. That's exactly right. Good, Tanner, I'm so impressed. I know. Um, so <laughs> logs are exponents. So they follow a lot of the same exponent properties, okay? So if you look at the very first one, it says product property, right? You don't have to know the name of it. You just have to know what it does. So that product property says, if I have the log base B of M times N, okay? Now, I'm multiplying in here, and I've got this same base. So when you're multiplying exponents with the same base, what do you, or when you're multiplying terms with the same base, what do you do with the exponents? You add them. Okay, that's how you're going to remember how to do this. So what you do is you can split this up, log base b of m plus log base b of m. The base has to be the same here in order for this to work, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and set you up for the back side and what we're doing and tell you that if you go this way, that is what we call expanding a log. If you go this way, you push them together, right? You take this one that's written and stretched out and you make it smaller. We call that condensing. So you'll have to be able to do both of those with the logs. You'll have to be able to expand them as well as condense them. So we've got three, three condensing and three expanding using only the product property here. So let's run through them. They're pretty easy when it's just one property, especially when I'm telling you what that property is. It won't be until we get to where we put them all together that it starts getting a little bit harder. So don't shut down on me and go, oh, this is easy. I don't know what you're talking about. So we get to the backside. And then if you think it's easy, then good. All right, y'all ready? Look at number one. I've got log base 2 of 7 plus log base 2 
of 4. Do it to the condense and then simplify if I can. What does that condense down to? Log base 2 times 28. Everybody see, I can't just add them because logs are exponents and I have to treat them like exponents. So this one, I'm going from them being added together with the same base to here. So I have to multiply those numbers together. Y'all following me? A lot of you said 11, but I want you to understand why it's 28. Okay, so different rules here. That's, my gut would have said 11 also, but you have to apply that property. Can you simplify that any? In other words, is there an exponent you can raise 2 to to get 28? No, so I'd leave it. And I'd just stop right there. Yep. Let's look at number 2. I have log 25 plus log 4. I don't see a base there. What does that mean? Look at y'all. Okay, 100, that's exactly right. So I got log of 100. Can that be simplified? Look at y'all go. See why we practiced with that yesterday? Now you can look at that and go, oh yeah, that's two. Because 10 to the second power is 100. Good job. Let's look at number three. Of course you know there's going to be some variables thrown in here. I've got log base for QX plus log base 4 of 4x squared. That would be log base 4, that's exactly right, 8x. Can't simplify that any, so I stop. Um, if this had been log base 2 here, I could not have done that. They have to be the same base to combine them. Okay, I just want to stress that makes you understand. Questions about condensing with the product property so far. Y'all okay? See what we're doing. Yes. All right, well, let's expand using the product property. So look at number four. I've got the log of six. How could I maybe expand that using the product property? Two and three. I would, that's what I would do. I would say, okay, well, this is the same thing as the log of two plus the log of three. Does that make sense? We're just going backwards with what we just went forwards with. How about log base 7 of 45? There, isn't, there are multiple answers for some of these, and that's okay. 5 and 9. So maybe I say log base 7 of 5 plus log base 7 of 9. Maybe you did. Yes, the order doesn't matter. Maybe you did 15 and 3. It doesn't matter. Just to show that you can expand those. How about number 6? 5x. You just do 5 and x. I've got log base 2 of 5. And i got log base 2 of x. Okay. All right, property number two. Remember, there's only three properties, but it's back. You see how it's backwards and forwards, how we're having to use them? All right, so the next is the quotient property. Quotient means to do what? To divide. That's exactly right. So quotient property says, if I have some log with whatever base and I am dividing these two numbers, Okay. Now, if I combine multiplication with addition, what do you think I do with division? 
subtraction. You're exactly right. Division is the opposite of multiplication. So I'm going to say this is log base B. This time the order does matter. It's the top minus the bottom. Expanding if I go left to right. Condensing if I go right to left. It'll say, like, look at the directions on here. Like, it says condense the log or expand the log. So if you make it bigger, it's expanding. And if you get it down to a simplified version, just one term, that's condensed. So condensing writes logs as few times as possible. Expanding writes them as many times as possible. All right, so let's look at number seven. Log base... 3 of 24 minus log base 3 of 8. Why is it 3? 24 divided by 8. That's exactly right. It's 3. Does that simplify? Yes. What's the exponent you need? 1. That's right. 3 to the what power is 3? See what we're doing there? We're using what we did yesterday along with the property. Well, number eight, log base two of 15 minus log base two of 15. Well, okay, so let's do it, but let's do it with log property. You're right, but let's do it with log property. Just to show you it still works. Yes, it's gonna give me zero. It's gonna simplify to zero in the end. But if I'm subtracting, what do I do with the divide them? So you got log base 2, what's 15 divided by 15? 2 to the what power is 1? So it still works that way also. How about... That's exactly right. Because when I divide, y'all are on this log thing. I'm telling you, I'm impressed. When I divide, right, I subtract the exponents. So I get log base 4 of x to the 7. Everybody okay? You ready to expand them? Let's do 10. Log base 8 of 4. How could I expand that? Somebody said something. 16 and 4. So maybe I do log base 8 of 16 minus log base 8 of 4. This is harder for me going this way with these. Eleven is nice because it's already written as a fraction, so it's a little bit easier to go ahead and expand it. What would that look like expanded? That's right. Exactly right. What's that one look like? That's right. If you put the 10 in there, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's implied. Um, I always remember, because you start getting confused which one's addition, which one's subtraction, I always think about this division sign looking like a minus sign, and that's how I remember. It helps me. Y'all know I like silly little things to help me remember. 
Well, that's property already. So far, so good. Is everybody okay? Sure. Power property. This is the this is the easiest one in my opinion. Everybody likes to do this one because it's so easy. So if I have this log base B and I have some value here that's got an exponent on it, this exponent can come around to the front and be multiplied and then it's no longer on your value here. So it just whoop on around. Again, expand. Yeah. This is time here. Yeah. It just comes around to the front. Well, you'll, you'll just leave it written there. So, like, if it was... No, so that becomes an exponent. So let me show you. So you've got 5 times log base 4 of 2, and it asked me to condense, right? So whatever number's out front, it's coming around as an exponent on here. So this would be log base 4 of 2 to the 5th. You could, especially if it'll, let's see, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Um, if it will simplify down some, yeah. If it's ever multiplied in front of the log, it can come around and become an exponent. Yep. And then, of course, vice versa if you're condensing. I mean, expanding. So what will 14 look like? Because 14 starts out with this 7 out front, log base 2 of x. That's exactly right. Log base 2. Oops. Oh, and on it now. X to the seventh. Y'all okay? Bless you. Fifteen one third log eight. Any takers? Log of eight to the one third. What's eight to the one third? Two, that's exactly right. Why is it two? That's really the third root of eight. Two to the third is eight, so that becomes two. Then what's that mean? Yeah. But I didn't put it. You don't have to put it. But if you do put it, it's not wrong. Okay. Go the other way. We'll take a little break once we get through these three, and then we'll put them all together. If y'all want a break, y'all never want your break. You want, would rather finish early. Third block always wants their break. Log base 2 of 8 to the 7th. What happens? Expand it. That's exactly right. 7 times the log base 2 of 8. It just comes around to the front. This is the easier one, bringing them around. How about ooh, three times log four to the x minus one? You're expanding. Look at y'all. That's exactly right. This is going to come around and multiply, but it multiplies to everything out front, right? So it's three times x minus one log four, which you said was three x minus three log 4. You want to keep it in parentheses since all of that multiplies to the log. But that's exactly right. How is this one even on here? I don't even see an exponent. It's 1 half. Good job. This is the same thing as saying log base 7 of w to the 1 half. Now I can use that power property, bring that one half around to the front. Tell me what you think so far. Easy? Yeah. 
Yes. So, do you think we went too fast? I'm sure. Whatever the root out here is, you can make that into an exponent. So the square root of w is the same thing as w to the one half. If it was the third root of w, it would be w to the one third. These are those little sunshine type problems we did. Y'all want to break or you want to push through? Okay, go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. A couple people need to go to the bathroom. We'll stop for just. So the first set asks us to rewrite into a single logarithm and simplify if possible. So this means I am condensing. So remember the way those arrows went as to what you need to do. I would advise you to always do the power property first when condensing and then move left to right as you condense. So in other words, if I've got something, something, and something, I would do power properties first, right? And then if these are added and subtracted, do the first two and then take that answer and combine it with that last one. So left to right when you're doing the um, quotient and the product, but do power first on all of them. We're doing 19 through 26. All right, so let's look. Number 19, if I'm condensing, I'm trying to get it written so that I only have one log in my answer. So what do you see that we can do first? The power. You're exactly right. I should have written it. I'm sorry. So this becomes log of what? Which is minus the log of 9. Does that confuse y'all? I just went ahead and wrote it since it's a nice number there that I'm trying to work through. And then, right, so now because I'm subtracting and that's the only thing left, I'm going to divide. So 36 divided by 9 is 4. And it's condensed. And you know it's condensed whenever you just have log written one time. You only have one log in there, then it's condensed. I can't raise 10 to anything to get 4, so yes. All right, let's look at 20. Yes, the minus minus divide. 4 log base 4 of A plus 2 log base 4. What shall I do first? Mm -hmm. The powers. I'm going to bring them on around. Log base 4 of A to the 4. Log base 4 of B to the 2nd. It's So you're going to multiply, right. So now, because it's adding, I'm going to say this is log base 4, a to the 4, b squared. You don't have to do anything else with it. It just stays like that. All right, I'm going to just start moving down that odd numbered side there so we have time to get through all the examples. 7 log base 4 of u minus 3 log base 4 of b squared. What shall I do first? That's right. So what happens to it? Because remember what it is I'm doing. Let's write this one first. What do you do? Do you add or do you multiply? Let's let's talk, let's let's write it. What happens? That that property says that whatever is here, and I'm going to put it in front of you. Whatever is here, you raise it to this power, right? So multiply. That's exactly right. So this becomes log base four of u minus log base four of v. What? 
Go right at one. Oh, I see. Sorry. No, because we're going to divide. You're right. So let's write it as division. But I think what you're saying is you can't simplify it any further than that. We can write it, but we can't actually subtract them because why? They're not the same. One's a V and one's a U. If they were the same variable, I could subtract those exponents. But because they're not the same variable, I just have to leave it written just like that. Does that make sense? Too fast, too slow, y'all okay? All right, let's look at 23. You try 23. Try 23 on your own and then we'll do it together. Log base 3 of 4 plus log base 3 of y plus 1 half log base 3. I'll give you just a second. I get it? Are you still working? What did I do first step? Move the one half. If that is an exponent there, what does that become? The square root. So what's the square root of 49? So this becomes log base 3 of 4 plus log base 3 of y plus log base 3 of stuff. What now? 4 times y, that's exactly right. So I'm going to move left to right, and I'm just going to do 2 at a time. Not that you couldn't do all 3 of these at the same time, but because you might have a subtraction sign thrown in there at some point that you have to divide, it's a good habit to be in just to do 2 at a time and move left to right. So, now I am going to do what? Multiply, that's right. So you get log base 3 of 28y. I know, no, I did the same thing and I was, okay, there you go. Tell me what you think about condensing. Not that bad. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And you'll start, the more you do them, you'll start to see that. I just want to make sure if there's a subtraction sign in there that you don't get mixed up on order. Yeah. Can we do which one? 22? Sure. All right, so for 22, I've got log base 2 of 15 plus log base 2 of 4 minus log base 2 of 6. I don't see any exponents there, so I'm going to jump straight into the addition subtraction. First, two, first. This addition, so what does that mean I do? Multiply. 
So I got log base 2 of 60 minus log base 2 of 6. Now what? Divide. What's 60 divided by 6? 10. It really did. As you work through these, make sure if there are parentheses, no matter where that comes in the expression, that you do the parentheses first and then work outside. Same order of operations take over. Okay? You do those inside first. So you could do that. You could do that way if you wanted to distribute the one third, or you could do eight times twenty-seven and then do to the one third. Whichever way you want to do it is fine. Just make sure you're following order of operations as you go. Yeah? Yes, yes. So the question was asked about number 24 because there's really two ways that we can do this. Um, we can simplify inside the parentheses first. Or we could distribute that one-third to both of these logs. Either way you do it, it's going to come out to be the same answer. And I think, Aiden, probably the reason you did that was you noticed these are both perfect cubes. And so you knew that it was going to simplify nicely. But whichever way you want to do it, it doesn't matter. Um, if I distribute, and I'm, I'm going to do that just because that's what y'all said the first time. Now, I could have multiplied 8 and 27 together first and then took it to the one-third power. It doesn't matter. But now I'm doing this. And the reason we did this is we recognize these are easy thirds, right? 8 to the one-third is what? 2. 27 to the one-third is what? 3. Oh. Well, this looks pretty easy right here. If they're exactly the same, they cancel out, right? So the answer is... Now, if you went through, 2 times 3 is... What's 6 divided by 3? So it still works out that way as well. Other questions so far? Ready to expand? Condensing is easy? Well, let's hope expanding is also. It's exactly the reverse. The only difference is you have to, the, the biggest problem with expanding is probably knowing who the exponent goes with and when to adjust that. So for instance, on 27, I've got the log base 6 of x, y, and z to the 4. So do I do the 4 first or not? Well, you need to look. If I put the 4 in front first, that's going to make the 4. This is not the same as Okay, so if it was this one, I'd bring the 4 around first because it's going to everything. But because it's only hooked to the Z here, I don't want it to be in front of any log except the log with the Z. Does that make sense? Because that's the only one that's got the exponent. So first I'm going to split them up. I'm going to split all three of those variables up, and then I'll handle that exponent. So you have to really determine who's the exponent going to. Does that make sense? No, Ms. McGee, that doesn't make sense. Okay. All right, so here's the one I'm expanding, so I'm going to split up that multiplication. So log base 6 of x, multiplying, mm -hmm. log base 6 of y, log base 6 of z to the 4. Yes, yes. Yes. So one more step. I'm just showing you one one property at a time. I don't expect you. I you could do that in one step. Yes. 
I just wanted you to see that that exponent only went with that Z there. Everybody okay? Look at 29. I've got log base 7, 2 to the 4, R to the 2nd squared. This time it is going, that two is going to everybody. But because it's out front like that, and, and maybe it's easier for you if you clean that up a little bit first. In other words, how could I simplify this before I start? Mm -hmm. So I could really say this is the same thing, and this has nothing at all to do with expanding and everything to do with properties of exponents. I could really say, well, this is the same thing as Q to the eight r to the 4, right? Now I can split them up and it's a little easier to see. And the reason I say this is because if you took this 2 and put it out front now, which you can, that's exactly right. Now whenever I split this up, that 2 is still going to have to stay outside as I split these up that way. Because it's going to have to get everything. So it might be a little easier for you to clean it up first and then expand it out, if that makes sense. All right, what can I do now? It starts getting confusing as you look at it, doesn't it? You start going, what the heck am I supposed to do now? What are you going to do? You're saying take the, move the 8? Y'all say move the 8? Split them up first and then move. You know how we did the, the power first when we were condensing? Do the power last when you're expanding. So here, split them up just because you want the exponent. Look at I put L-O-T. Um, You want the exponent that goes with each variable to stay with that particular variable. You see what I'm saying? If you put the 8 out front and you put 8 log 7 Q 8 R 4, then you've messed up with that 8 going to the R too. You don't want it to go to the R. You only want it to stay with the Q part. Is that the wrong way to do it? No, this is the right way. No, you could do it. You would just have to keep working inside these parentheses as you went. Yes, it'll be easier for you if you do it that way. But you don't, I mean, you don't have to. You'll come back to the same thing. Yeah, these are, and I think that's why it's a struggle, too, is because you always want to. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Now, if, why didn't you have done it this way? So now, if I split this log, just to show you, you still get the same thing. Q4 and log R2, and I bring those around, so I've got 2, 4 times log 7Q plus 2 log 7R. If I were to distribute this through, I'd get that same thing back. So either way you do it, it's, you get the same answer. Expanding is harder for y'all. I can tell the way you're looking. Yes? Yes, yes. When nothing else is being multiplied, divided, or raised to a power, you're done. Somebody said 31, 32. So when you start seeing radicals, start thinking sunshine. Yes. So again, with this one, what I would do is I would come over here and say, okay, the fourth root of m to the fifth n to the second, right, is m5 n2, right? Now distribute that through like you did before. So this is m5 over 4, 2 times a fourth. Now it's a little bit easier for you to do those properties as you expand because you only have 
one exponent on each variable instead of exponents on variables plus a radical. Fractions don't matter. It's okay to have a fraction. You're just writing it. Yep. So I'd split them up with the addition first. And then all I have to do is bring each one of those exponents around to the front. So 5 over 4 log 3 of m plus 1 half log base 3. Yep. Yep. That's okay. Good. Twenty eight. Log base 4, a to the ninth over b. What do you see first that I can do? Subtract. That's exactly what I would do first. I'd split that fraction up. So log base 4, a to the ninth, minus log base 4 of b. What now? Bring the 9 around. That's exactly right. So I've got 9 log base 4 of a minus that's it thirty I've got log base 2 y over z to the fifth squared. Again, I would clean that up a little bit before I start. Simplify that that follows the log because it'll make your expansion easier. So I would make this log base 2 of what? What does that become? Well, yeah, distribute this exponent first. y squared over z10. Now split it up. So log base 2, y squared, minus log base 2. Can you do anything else? Exponents, that's exactly right. Bring them around to the front. Everybody's favorite part. And that's it. Yep. Y'all think the expanding's harder or the condensing? <laughs> you gotta think about it. All right, I'm going to clean up that radical first. I'm going to sunshine it because I want to make sure that I can handle the exponents as I go. So the square root of 7x cubed is the same thing as what? 7x cubed to the 1 half. So yes, the x is going to have a 3 halves, but make sure that 1 half also goes to the 7. So it's going to be 7 1 half x to the 3 over 2. Seven one half x to the There's no base, it just means there's a base of what? Ten. Can I split this up? How? Plus log of seven to the one half plus log of x to the three halves. What one more thing to do. Bring those exponents around. One half log seven plus three halves log x.
As you flip over and look, this is simply a chart for you to fill out to help you so you have all the rules in one place um, with an example there along. So I want you to fill out that chart and then you've got some practice ones. The first few shouldn't take you long at all. There's not a back to second, it's just like a front and back page. So it's not as much as what it looks like. But um, that's all I got for you. Got questions, comments, complaints? 